There's a high ball screen from Johnny O'Brien. Stringer handling into the paint. Got all the way to the bucket and got it to fall. Stringer with 11 and a half to go. Kentucky running it right back. Andrew Harrison, young on the drive. Contact. Randall with 3.9 to go. No timeouts left. They got to go with it. Stringer loses control. Ball game. What an effort by LSU. What an effort by Kentucky. The entire last possession it was not a walk. It's a one-two and then a shot up by Young. And the best offensive rebounding team in the nation got the biggest offensive rebound in this ball game. It was Randall. Only eight points all game, Jimmy. Yeah. But two of the biggest ones right here. Eight threes himself. Well, you want to make sure oh, you can't give a guy a shot. You got to make sure you switch and extend out. He was the number one recruit in all of college basketball. And in his first official game as a Wildcat, John Wall knocks down the jumper to give Kentucky a 72-70 win. Right with three, with two, the runner goes down. With two seconds to go, Kentucky up by two. Fox with a rebound, and he's bringing it. Monk. Oh! He hit another one. Cold-blooded. Dagger. Kentucky by one. How about this? Onion spread. Big time. One of three today. Take that one, and now, do you miss this one? On purpose. They have time to make still, I think, and foul quickly. They're going to miss it. He missed it. Wall has got it. The shot will count, but it's short. Oh, wait a minute, Cousins. It's good. It's good. It's good. Harrison, back out to Randall, driving on Blackshear, feeds the corner, Aaron Harrison hits the three! Timeout, Louisville. How about that combination there, Russ Smith? Had his struggles here down the stretch, hits the huge shot there, and then the triple, even with the contest, puts Kentucky up by two. Wow. Chance for a second shot if you're North Carolina, so that's at about the five second mark. Marshall inside Zeller. Zeller lost the handle. Hempson has it. He's blocked by Davis. No foul committed at Kentucky. Will take it by one off the block by Anthony Davis. It was a matchup of shot blockers. We've been waiting all game long for Anthony Davis to have his presence felt at that end of the floor. And he swats away the attempt for the lead by John Hansen. Seconds, 10 seconds for the final four. Harrison, that shot's the oh, he made it. Oh, LeBert was right in his face. Timeout, Michigan. I thought LeBert might have had a hand on it. I still can't believe this, Jim. In a game where it's about Michigan, you cannot contest a shot any better than LeBert did on that one. Good defense, but great offense there by the young man. You 
see that handoff. And he goes away for Randall there, creates the space, and man, what a shot. How about Aaron Harrison in the closing minutes of this game? Did not have a basket. Driving it to the goal or passing it into the low post. Trying to get near to collision as Diebler tries to shake free. Yeah, he was trying to get outside, and here he goes. For the top. Oh, and he does it! The senior Diebler, the sharpshooter, ties it with 21 seconds. Well, Jim, there was no question about it. They were looking for the three, and that's kind of the gunslinger mentality of Thad Mata. Kentucky with 15 seconds. They should go for the last one at about eight seconds, so they have seven or eight seconds. It's in Knight's hand. He Boy. beat Princeton at the gun. Here he shoots. Yes! With five seconds. Ohio State racing up the floor. The season on the line. Buford for the win. No! Kentucky pulls off the monster upset. Wildcats take out the number one overall seed of the tournament. Andrew Harrison. Underneath, bounce to Dakari Johnson. Back outside. This is the point where he always hits it. Oh! Aaron Harrison beyond the lead. That's the first three he's taken. And Look the Wisconsin, how far out he was on that. The Wisconsin has been so conscious of penetration. Their whole game has been back off and play penetration. Rosser doesn't play the clock here. He backs off just a split second. And that gives Harrison. Wow. Oh, can you imagine being his parents? And that's Aaron Sr. 